Hello, I'm Shar Knox, a direct selling expert and business strategist. I'm working with Amy Howard to bring to you a very simple and easy onboarding system that you can use to work with new makers. And if you're a new maker yourself, you can understand how four simple actions can elevate your business and elevate your check. With this recording, I have posted a PDF called New Maker Training. I'd like you to grab that at the same time you're listening to this. Have that pulled up so you can follow along. The first slide after the opening slide is a picture of Amy Howard. And I would very much like you to go into the back office and find the Meet Amy Howard video. This is an opportunity to really and truly meet Amy. You'll hear her story, her passion, why she started the business, and most importantly, you'll get a feel for the culture of the company, which is really important to new business owners. The next slide is our journey slide. We call it a maker's journey. These are the four actions that you'll be doing over and over again that um, will play into the success of your business. So we start with making something. And as soon as you get your maker box, you're going to have a beautiful project in there. We want you to make that project. And you'll have the recipe cards, the supplies, everything you need to do that. Then we want you to step out and teach others how to be creative. We call it make with joy and teach with passion. Teaching others is a way to bring out the creativity in everyone that you meet that wants to have a lovely little event in their home that um, creates a community. You're making and talking and and sharing with people that you love and people that you know and sometimes people you don't know. Everything you need to teach your first class is in the uh, Gather and Teach Studio Box. What we've done is we've taken the project that you make individually and we've put that in the box eight times over so that you can have eight guests doing the same project that you did. Now, in addition to that, you have enough product and tools in that box to conduct another five or six classes. So if you haven't ordered that, it's really, really, really important that you do. And I would do that as soon as you finish listening to this um, audio and reviewing the slides. Now, the next step on our Maker's uh, Journey Wheel is uh, one that is all about building your business. We call it Mentor with Love. Once you have your classes, people are going to want to do what you're doing because not only are you having fun, but you're going to have a very lucrative opportunity to earn money as a business owner. So it's important in your class that you remind people that this opportunity is there and why it's so unique, and we'll talk more about that in a little bit as well. Following our uh, Maker's Journey wheel, you'll see the last action is serve with grace. And oh my goodness, we all love a life of service. And this is about, you know, serving yourself and your family's needs, serving your team, Uh, serving by helping us eliminate human trafficking, which is part of our charitable mission. There's all kinds of ways you can serve in this business. And then you start over again. You make, you teach, you mentor, you serve. You make, you teach, you mentor, you serve. And doing those four things over and over and over again will land you a very successful business, and you're going to have so much fun in the process. The next slide on the PDF is showing you what your new kit looks like. This is the maker box, and you can see the the board, the stencils, the paint, all that you get in there to start making. 
And then this gives you, again, that experience you need to be able to hold your first creative class. The next slide asks the question, well, who will come to your class? Well, this is easy when you launch out because you'll go to your friends and your family, people who know, love, and trust you, and you'll invite maybe 10, 12, 15 people in hopes to get eight into that class. You have eight boards and the opportunity for everybody to complete that one particular project um, you know, at that first launch event. So write a list. Think about, you know, you're opening your business. This is really important to you. Who will come and support your business? And who wants to come for a fun night? You kick this off, and this one is probably held in your own home. And then from this class, you talk to people about hosting classes for you. Because when they host classes, they can get a free, beautiful, renew all candle and they can also get uh, a 25% discount on an order of anything they want if their class is $200 or more. So you kick off your classes and then you build classes from uh, the participants of your original class. And it's pretty cool because people see and love and want to do this and they're ready to host for you. The next slide that you'll see is the language that you'll use to make the invitation. You know, just be yourself. You can use this language word for word or you can slide your own words in it, but I promise you enthusiasm will outweigh perfection here. Just get on the phone to your friends and family and be excited about this new venture. I think it's important that you tell them that this is no more than 90 minutes. It's a beautiful DIY project. They're going to leave with a welcome sign, and it's super fun and relaxing. So practice it a few times. Maybe you know, call your sponsor and practice it on her or him and uh, get comfortable with it and then start out making your calls. And, of course, you want to be sure you have your classes ready and the dates. I always like to say, you know, make two classes, make one in the day and one in the evening so that uh, your participants or your prospects have a choice that they could either come in the day if that works for you or they could come in the evening. So get those booked as to when you want to have them before you set out on these calls. The next slide is a reminder for you to go into the back office and get the Gather and Teach booklet. You're going to want to study that little booklet. It's very simple, but in there you'll have the um, prep work you need to do because you want to paint the boards ahead of time. Uh, you're going to have the agenda. Um, it'll have a lot of little tips on how to have a good session. It'll keep you on a track. Uh, with time, and it'll just make your class easier for you to conduct. And once you read that over, read it again, and just become familiar with it. Also, during your class, uh, toward the end, you'll want to talk about our two major subscription opportunities for people. Now, this is a perfect time to get people interested in getting a project every other month to complete in their own home. And we call that the Make With Joy subscription. And it comes to them beautifully done, um, it, when I say beautifully done, wrapped uh, in this really cool cylinder, and inside is a project that they can complete. And um, I think everybody around that table would want to do that once they have so much fun in your class. The other subscription we have is uh, what we call the Difference Makers, and this is really where we help the human trafficking victims. Um, this is a candle subscription, and it also comes every other month, and what's cool about this is the person gets a candle, and then they also get another one to give away. So go into the back office and read about the Difference Makers subscription, and the Make With Joy subscription so that uh, you're familiar with that. You too as a maker can get on this subscription as well. And you may want to do that uh, for your own personal fun as well as being able to promote it. It is an every other month subscription, which is wonderful because 
uh, people don't like to get things every month. Again, I want you to take the time and read that Gather and Teach booklet a couple times. We've set it up very simply, but it's extremely important that you understand the process of a class. And again, if you haven't ordered the Gather and Teach Studio box, you'll want to do that right away because that sets you up for your class. And again, you can have you know five, six classes beyond your launch class out of that box. And that is a really important business building tool that um, you should purchase just as soon as you can because you're going to get the investment back once you have a few uh, classes. We know that they average somewhere around $400 per class and your commission on that by the time you have a few classes you've paid for your um, gather and teach box. So that's very important. The next slide talks a little bit about a success pattern that we sampled out and seems to work really well. Um, every month, if you set yourself a goal of having a minimum of two classes, some people have a class a week, which is awesome, but if you do a minimum of two classes, look for three makers uh, to join your team a month and um, put down on your goal sheet four new subscriptions, either the Make With Joy box or the a Candle subscription. If you complete this pattern over and over and over again, um, you'll see your business start growing like crazy, and it'll be duplicating, and then you'll be getting the benefit of you know, what others do in their classes. You'll get paid on that. And if you haven't had the opportunity to have a conversation with your sponsor about how compensation works, you need to do that right away. You don't need to understand the entire compensation plan, but you do need to understand how to make money. And um, having a quick one-on-one -on -one with your sponsor is a great way to do that. So remember the success pattern. It's two plus three plus four. So two classes three new makers, and four new subscriptions. The last slide just reminds you to go into the back office and tool around there and learn about all the tools and things that are available to you as a business owner. Now, the easiest way to do that is to grab the welcome card that came in your um, new enrollment kit, your um, maker box, uh, grab that card, and on the back, there's several steps that we want you to complete to make sure your business is up and running. So that's really important. Look for that card and um, get that done before anything else. Our final slide is the Maker's Journey Wheel again. And this is also in the back office on a single sheet of paper, and I would suggest that you pull that off, uh, pin it up where you work, um, someplace that you can see it every day and know that these simple actions, and, and aren't they actions that make us feel really good, make with joy. That makes me feel so good and it makes me want to make something because I know I'll be joyful. Um, make with joy and teach with passion. Oh my gosh, to be able to stand up and teach and, you know, help people bring out their creativity is just divine. Mentor with love, oh my, we can get so far in this world by showing a little love to the people who we come in contact with that we want to make a difference in their lives, and they'll make a difference in our lives. And then serve with grace. There's nothing that fills the heart and the soul more than grace. And when we serve others, we fill up with grace. So print this off and really just have it in the forefront of your mind every time you think about your business. So on behalf of everyone, Amy, uh, Howard, Michelle uh, Parker, who is our director of sales at uh, a maker studio, Michelle Stevens, who runs our fabulous customer service department, and all the support team, we wish you much, 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 much success in your business, and we are here to help you 110%. So you'll be hearing from Michelle Parker, our um, Director of Sales, as she reaches out to you individually and by email, 
and just know that this journey for you can change your lives and the lives of the people that you touch, as well as helping us eliminate human trafficking. Thank you so much for listening, and good luck to you.